Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Ready, set, sing. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Three, two, one. Let's jam. Do, 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 do. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. We'll be starting fairly soon. What the fuck happened to my body? Oh, no. Did I forget to lock the camera? Shoot. <laughs> Thanks for the hydrate. I'm going doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. It is Monday. Um, work was uneventful. I'm part of a new VTuber group. <laughs> hey, Vim boy, how are you doing? <sighs> Hydration has been hydrated. My body's kind of screwed up right now, though, so I need to uh, fix this really quick. One moment. That's weird, too, because I thought I locked the camera. There we go. Haha. -ha. Oh. Great. Now I'm facing the wrong direction. Thanks for nothing, uh, Vroid. Here we go. That did not fix my problem. There we go. Cool. Just need to attach my arms now. We'll be getting started in a good two minutes or so. <laughs> How are y'all doing this Monday morning? Or Monday evening, I should say. It's evening over here. This fine, fine Monday. <laughs> You're right. Tuesday afternoon for you? Oh, in Australia. <laughs> How's your Tuesday going so far, Evan Boy? Thank God it's Friday? No way. Are you a Time Lord? Is that what's going on here? Are you holding out on us, Aislinn? I really need to look into getting a better uh, leap motion holder because I'm fairly sure this one is going to be busted in a good seven months from now, maybe sooner, just because of the way it's designed. I don't know. I don't think they were think. I'm not even sure. If that was intentional, or if it was, if the plant obsolescence was intentional or not. But we'll have to make, get the best use out of it while we still can. Check my render here. Render quality very high. Let's set to down to. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Shit. Um, I actually got some assets from Booth that are for horror, for uh, making your avatar kind of horror aesthetic. I don't know, I'm pretty sure, I have a feeling that Spookies is not going to be done after today's stream, so maybe I can uh, work my V-Roid model to update that so it would be more, um, you know, more um, aesthetic appropriate for the game that we're playing. Hmm? Of course, we'll be playing more horror games in the future, so it's not like, if I can't get the model ready for this one, we can always head ready for next one. Do you guys care if I have additional shadows on my character? Actually, you know what? Switching it to high makes me look fat. Fatter. Fat. Ultra does nothing. Very high. And then high. And then very low. <laughs> my god, that's, that's fucking terrible. <laughs> uh, medium. Very high. Very high. El Mago, welcome to the stream. Welcome to Lull's time with your host, Luller Hicks. Let me put my headset on now. Hmm? There you go. Much better. <laughs> okay. I think Spookies runs pretty well with my avatar. Actually. So... I don't probably, probably don't need to worry about that. You've been I'm in someone here but a spook. Well, I hope you're in for a good time. Because that's what we're playing today. We're spookies, jump scare mansion, HD renovation. Oh, I just remembered this game can be played in VR. 
I was planning to get back into VR fairly soon, so I should try that sometime. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Giving Apple money is pretty cringe, to be honest. I need a new iPhone for face tracking, but I cannot overcome the cringe of getting Apple money. Seven months? Yeah, my first uh, my first uh, Leap Ocean Tracker lasted seven months, I counted. Knight of the Garden, thank you so much for the raid, oh my god. What were you guys up to? Uh, Ace, please do me a big favor and uh, shout out Knight of the Garden, also known as Aster. Welcome to the stream, uh, Aster. Long time no see, how have you been? What were you all playing? I just realized that my model is lagging for some reason. Please, not like this. I mean, it's it's freaking Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Oh my god, please. Please. I think my processor is just finally giving up the ghost. It's lasted for six years, it's been OC'd. Is it six years? Seven years. Seven years old process CPU on my computer. It's been OC'd for like half of its life, and it's been abused like crazy. <laughs> Frame rate limits, spookies, just enable vSync. Good idea, Vimboy. Let's see if that. Oh, you know what? It's a lot smoother now. It might have actually worked. Um, also, I just realized I use only 30. I've decided to just render my V my um, VTuber Plus avatar at 30 FPS. Okay, which should also help cut down on the processor usage. There we go. <laughs> Let me read back chat really quick, please. Uh, thank you for shouting them out, Ace. Uh, giving Apple money is pretty cringe. I agree. Lads, I'm pretty sure you can 3D print those. Well, you know what? I'm fairly sure the plans for this particular model exist on the internet. I would just need to find them because more than one person is making this exact model. So as soon as I find the uh, fi STI files, I could all send them to you, Ace, if you feel like uh, 3D printing them. You wouldn't print a car. <laughs> I downloaded it first. SO Night of the Garden. Turn down the game volume a little. Oh, okay. It does sound a little bit loud. There we go. Much better. Uh, another... First time chatter, Falkenwald. Welcome to the stream! Your handle actually sounds familiar. I feel like I've seen, I've met you before in a different VTuber community, and I just can't place it right now. Please remind me. Um, Ace, is that good? Is the volume good now? Are we, are we good? Let me see you here. Uh, doing good. You're just playing Going Under. Sounds like a fun time. I'm glad. Hope you had a great stream. Uh, Easy Live. How far did you get last time you played? I reached floor, room 600 last time I played. So I'm figuring if this game really just have a, has a thousand floor or a thousand rooms, I'll probably be able to finish it tonight. And then I noticed that there are all a bunch, a whole bunch of other game modes here, so we could play those for the rest of the uh, sessions. If you're having CPU issues, you can use Spout Capture in VTuber Plus, and that will offload all the pressure onto your GPU. Also, make sure that VC Face Render Avatar is disabled. Don't want to render it twice. Oh, no worries. Um, I do have it disabled in VC Face, but I don't know what Spout Capture is. Um, we got some time. There's some stuff that I need to... One second. So, I actually have some things to briefly discuss before we start today's uh, stream in earnest anyway, so I don't mind doing a little bit of troubleshooting on my avatar before we get into that. Um, Spout, you said, right? I thought Spout was like a separate, uh, separate thing altogether, like, as a, like a separate, um, Vroid 
tracker thing, which you're gonna like see a beastie face. Uh, yeah, Paraquad, this is actually the second spooky stream. The last one was around two weeks ago. I could send you a link to the VOD if you like. <laughs> and I, I thought, I honestly was trying to get through the game as much as possible without getting spooked. And the game got me like three times, three or four times. It was pretty, it was pretty wild. I was not expecting the sincerity of the um, horror aspect of this game. Um, let's see now. Yufalgenwald is in Cosmos server. He is also an IRL pal of mine and is wonderful. Oh, okay, so that's where I know you from. Aw. Well, thank you so much for coming along for the ride. I hope y'all will enjoy tonight's uh, stream. How different is it from the old free one? Um, I've never played Spooky's Jump Scare, period, before it was suggested in our horror game poll on our Discord. So, I'm going in this completely fresh. I had no idea what to expect. Um, I was actually afraid that this was just going to be like uh, Five Nights at Freddy's where that's all they do, it's just nothing but jump scares. But I am pleasantly surprised to see that they, the person who does the horror, or the developer is fairly decent in general at writing horror. Um, some of it is kind of typical for the genre, but otherwise it's still fresh enough to be interesting. I like so far the fact that it actually takes, intentionally takes a lot of typical horror tropes and mixes them into, and mixes them in such a way as they are recognizable but still uh, fresh. Like there's a whole section there that was quite obviously a Silent Hill reference, and that still got me. <laughs> Spout Cinder General Spout. Sender without UI? Interesting. Uh, virtual cameras. What's this thing do? So this is going to offload all the processing power on my 3080 instead of my CPU? If that's true, That'd be really super awesome, because that means I could probably try playing other video games again with my 3D avatar, and I can put off getting a second PC to dual stream with for a little bit longer. Um, some enemies got reworks, almost everyone got a 3D model, endless mode is different, and some other things I can't remember. Ooh. <laughs> so I've already met your favorite specimen. Um, Let's see, the most recent specimen I met was... Uh, the deer. The deer god. And that one really got me. And it got me specifically because it tapped into a kind of horror that I both love, but is also one of the, horror, one of the version of kinds of horror that just gets me every time. Like, it's... You know how it is where a lot of people's favorite genre of horror is the kind of horror that repeatedly spooks them, right? It's just, there's something, I don't know, I, and I can't even talk about it without spoiling it because I know I'm going to be running into it again in tonight's playthrough, since you run into every specimen repeatedly, and I, if there's anyone here who's never seen Spookies, I want you to also uh, become a victim, uh, as just as I did. You must suffer as well as I suffered. Uh, dear lord, yes, dear lord. <laughs> nice. No floating PNGs attacking you. Now you have to disable your VTuber Plus camera in OBS. Add Spout 2 capture and capture VTuber Plus with that. Okay. That's easy enough to do. So, are you just tricking the system into... So, okay, add Spout to Capture and Capture VTuber Plus with that. Um, is Spout to Capture like a separate program altogether or something? Or, let me look this up really quick. Oh, Spout 2 is a video frame sharing system for Microsoft. Spout is a GPU stream method. It's a video frame sharing system for Microsoft Windows which allows applications to share OpenGL 
pictures in a similar way to Siphon for Mac. Supports DirectX 9, 11, 12, and OpenGL. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Tonight's stream, it looks like we're going to be starting off with some VTuber tutorials, chat. Which, considering that half of my viewers are in fact VTubers themselves, is quite helpful. Uh, a big round of applause, by the way, to Application Envoy, who is doing uh, giving us a crash course in this. Spooky is your first video on porn. <laughs> it's tough crap. Okay, so um go to file wait. Um, open issues code projects releases released code spout 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 h zip. <laughs> Settings, about demo, setup. <laughs> Run, spout settings, spout settings, set exe. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Grabs the GPU output instead of converting it twice on the CPU. Okay, I don't think you need to install anything, just add a new OBS source. But, um, the thing is, like, I downloaded Spout, and there's nothing here that says Spout 2, it, and when I went to the readme, it said you should need to install Spout, which is why I was messing with that. Says they're about 2.005 or later, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so I think I got Spout 2 in here now, right? So let me see here. Add game capture Spout 2. Capture a specific. OBS sources add spout to capture. Don't do that. Okay. Not game capture? Alright. OBS sources add spout to capture. I actually don't have an option for spout to at the moment. Am I missing something? There is no option for Spout 2 capture here, no. I mean, unless OBS updated recently from 27.2.4 to something else. So, like... And it says here that Spark Spout 2 is a portable installation containing the latest versions of the utility programs for setup and testing. The applications do not require a spout installation. Oh, I see. So it's an OBS plugin as opposed to just installing an actual program. As long as I don't need to restart OBS to install this, it should not be a problem. Is it spout filter output? Or this one, right? Spout output? 
studio mode. I'm guessing it's this one, right? This one? All right. In before lulls bricks their stream in real time. All right, it's been, I'm assuming it's been installed and now we're going to go here to So let's see here. Sorry for taking the uh, time to mess with this chat. It's just I was hoping that if I could do this very quickly, it would not be that much of an issue, but um And I think I might have to actually stop streaming in order to... Unless I could do the trick where you force close OBS so Twitch thinks that there is a sudden disconnect. So it should put the stream in at a waiting period and then I can just continue streaming from there and it should work properly. I'll be right back, chat. Please do not go anywhere. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm basically trying to trick twi uh, tr to trick Twitch into thinking that I had a sudden disconnect, like an internet, like an internet blackout, so that it shoves the stream into AFK mode, and then it's like waiting for a, to receive connection again from. Because if I hold it four, it's going to. I don't think it's going to. Yeah, exit OBS. OBS is currently active. All streams recordings will be shut down. Are you sure you want to exit? But hey, Shika Shika. Yes, we're going to get started in just a bit. I'm just uh, messing with some OBS plugins to hopefully reduce strain on my CPU for processing basically my Vroid avatar. Just because my CPU is fairly old and it's starting to give up the ghost. So be right back. Did it work, or did it just start an entirely new stream? Given that people are, st given that y'all responded immediately, I'm assuming it was the latter. All right, so let's see if it open if it logged the. Uh... Oh, here it is, about to capture. Great, cool, awesome. Now let me read back up, 
and see what the rest of the directions were. Okay, spout to capture, discord, da 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 So, general spout sender without you. So, yeah. Now you have to disable your VTuber Plus capture in OBS. Add spout to capture and capture VTuber Plus with that. Set alpha to pre-multiplied. Where's the... Okay. Spout is a GPU stream method. Grabs the GPU output. Full time for new senders is fast. Pre-multiplied alpha, composite mode. And then... Where is this? So, remove this one. Okay. And we're going to trump this over here. Wait a minute. Well, speak of the devil. Okay, it appears to have worked, chat. Um, I'm still here. I've shut down the source for VTuber Plus. And let me see how my graphics card is doing. If it's my graphics card's burning to death right now. GPU is still doing well in spite of running VTuber Plus, and in spite of running the game as well. So it appears the operation was a success. Everyone give a nice round of applause for Application Minboy. You have just, I think you may, if this work continues to work out. Oh. Fucking shit, really? 